Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Charlotte Ashman. Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything educational and inspirational. Now, in this video, we're going to be looking at promoting and preserving Caribbean culture. And we're looking, we're using this workbook, Pep Practice for Grades 4, 5, and 6 students, curriculum based tests and we're looking at social studies. So if you have this workbook, I want you to just go and grab it. We're gonna be looking at quest the question on page 17. So I'm gonna to turn to page 17 in this workbook. All right, we're gonna be looking at this question. Now I get so many persons reaching out to me wanting to know who are these people guys you can appreciate that these persons did not all sit on the table for a photograph so yeah this is our artist rendition of uh, these persons so we're going to talk about them i want to see if you, you can identify any of them and um as i said before we're looking at the contribution of the East Indians and Chinese to the Jamaican economy, right? That's an objective on the grade six social studies syllabus. So guys, let me see um, if you can identify any of these persons. So if you can, and you're on Facebook, just go ahead and comment and say who you think these persons are because in a little bit, I'm going to tell you who they are. Guys, do, please remember to go and like us on YouTube. I'm going to put our YouTube channel. I'm going to let it scroll at the bottom of the screen. Pep Talk with Dr. Charlotte Ashman. Please subscribe. All right, guys. So can you identify any of these persons that I am showing on the screen? screen? Good morning, team Courtney Greaves. Good morning. All right. Can you identify any of these person? Marsha Lee Lawson is saying good morning as well. All right. Can you identify any of these persons, guys? Who is this person right here? I want to start from this end. And of course, we want to know her contribution to the Jamaican um, economy. Good morning, Rakisha. All right, we're starting, we're starting with the beautiful woman at the left of our screen. This person right here, who is she? All right, so I don't see anybody telling me who this lady is. All right, I'm going to give you a, um, a guess. She has contributed immensely to our food industry. Yeah. Come on, guys. Um, she has a company that ends with, or, or she um, founded a company that ends with grill. Grill. Something grill. This woman right here. All right, so I see person saying good morning. Marshall Lee Lawson is saying Delaware Chuck. We, we haven't come to Delaware yet. Um, we're right at this woman right here. Ah, yes, guys. So Rakisha is saying Island Grill, yes. And Alexia got it, Thalia Lynn. Mm -hmm. Yes, she founded Island Grill. So, yeah, that's Thalia right here. Now, beside Thalia is a gentleman who has contributed in no small term to the music industry. Who is this man right here? He has on the hat and he's beside Thalia Lynn. Who is this gentleman right here? So, guys, if you turn to page... 17 in this workbook. Let me show you the workbook that we're using. You all should have a copy of the social studies workbook if you're in grade six. We're using this book this morning. Yeah. So if you have a copy, just go to page 17. 
and we're talking about all the individuals that you see on this page i get so many requests every single day for me to tell you who these people are because like i said before we actually drew these people they did not come they were not sitting at a table we actually drew them sitting at a table all right so so we know that this is Talia, and I'm telling you that this gentleman right here has contributed in no small terms to um, the music industry. Who is that gentleman right there? This gentleman here. <laughs> Alexis in Beresford Hammond. Nope. Uh -uh. Remember, guys, we're looking at the contribution of the Chinese and East Indian to the Jamaican economy. So we are looking at persons of Chinese um heritage in the chinese ethnic group all right so um it's not very salmon this gentleman right here all right i'm gonna tell you guys because i don't see anybody posting on facebook saying who that gentleman is all right so gonna give you some homework now this gentleman is vincent randy chin and he was a record producer and um label owner of vp records all right so he started in jamaica with randy's shop and he moved to new york and set up vp records right and it's a very large independent label and distributor of caribbean music okay vp records vincent randichin this man right here all right how about this gentleman in the green tie who is he He's a very wealthy businessman, very wealthy businessman. All right, this gentleman right here beside Vincent Randichin, who is this gentleman right here? All right, guys, let me see you. Let me see you tell me who is this gentleman right here beside Vincent Randichin? Okay, nobody. All right, so you guys, you guys are not recognizing this gentleman at all. All right, so the gentleman in the green tie, that's a gentleman by the name of Oh, it's, it's right there. Yeah, Michael Leachin and he has contributed in, in no small term to the business sector. All right. He's a billionaire Jamaican Canadian. Mr. Michael Leachin. All right. The gentleman seated beside uh, Mr. Michael Leachin. Can you tell me who this gentleman is? And he contributed to music. Who is this gentleman right here, seated right beside Michael Leachin? Immense contribution to the music industry. Gentleman in the red jacket. All right, guys, I want to see you take a guess. So, yeah, you guys got Michael Leachin. So, Team Courtney Greaves said Mr. Chin. Alexia said Michael Chin. Team Courtney Greaves said NCB. Yes, um, Michael Lee Chin. Um, Team Courtney Greaves again, Lee Chin. Marshall Lee Lawson said Michael Chin. Rakisha, yeah, Michael e. Chin. All right, guys, we are on to the gentleman in the red jacket. Who is that gentleman? So we're looking at famous Jamaicans from the Chinese ethnic group. Who is this gentleman right here? On right here. Not one person 
is telling me who this gentleman is. And I'm telling you, I'm giving you a hint. Contributed to the music industry big time. Yes, Team Courtney Grieve is getting it. She says, Byron Lee, yup, <laughs> this is Mr. Byron Lee. All right, so Byron Lee, um, he as well, he was a record producer and an entrepreneur, and he was the leader of Byron Lee and the Dragoneers. And let me tell you something, guys, he contributed in no small terms to the music industry. Byron Lee, not Brian. <laughs> So Team Courtney is saying, Brian, it's Byron. All right. The gentleman beside Byron Lee, who is that? This gentleman right here beside Byron Lee. Who is this gentleman right here, right beside Byron Lee? All right. Guys, if you can guess the name of this gentleman right here, I will give you a free class on my curriculum basis in my curriculum basis class on Ashman Academy, all right? Get this person correct, and I'll give you free access for a day to my curriculum based test class on Ashman Academy. All right, gentlemen seated beside um, Baron Lee. All right, Marshall, you just won yourself a free day with me in my curriculum based test class on Ashman Academy. Yes, that's Minister Delroy Chuck. That's yeah, the Honorable Delroy Chuck. All right. And what is his contribution, guys? What is Delroy Chuck's contribution to Jamaica? In which sector um, does he contribute? Or who is Delroy Chuck? All right, so all right, yeah. See people talking about um justice. Salatoya Rose is saying justice ministry, minister of justice, minister of justice. All right, yes, guys. So um Delroy Chuck's contribution is in politics and law, yes. Um, that's his contribution to Jamaica. All right. So he's a member of government and he has contributed immensely to the, um, justice uh, fraternity for want of a better word and, um, legal fraternity. Yeah. So yeah, this is Mr. Honorable rather Delroy Chuck. All right. Beside Delroy Chuck, who is this gentleman seated beside Delroy Chuck? Oh, yeah. And um, Delroy Chuck, too. Yeah, he's an author. Let's talk about that a little bit before we get to this gentleman. Um, Yeah, somebody talk about um let me take that back guys let me take that, take that back. I was looking for a publication, but I think I have it for, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to take that back. The publication I'm thinking of is Reggae Roots, but that's attributed to Mr. Wayne Chen, the next person. All right. So for Delroy Chuck, we we know that he has contributed in no small term to the um, justice ministry. And, uh, you know, we said um, he serves as a politician. So yeah, that's Mr. Delroy Truck right here. 
person beside Mr. Chuck, now this is the person I'm thinking of when I thought about um, an author. Um, this is the person right here. And who is he, guys? Who is this person right here? Gentleman in the black jacket with the red tie. Who is that gentleman? All right. Name starts with a W. Name starts with a W. Come on, guys. I want to see you identify this um, Jamaican. Yep. Wayne Chen. All right, um, New Newark, Bizark, um, just WhatsApp me. I'm going to give you a free day in my class. Good job. Yeah, this is Wayne Chen. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Wayne Chen. What is his contribution to Jamaica? So he served as chairman of Super, Super Plus Food Stores, um, CVM Television, um, NCV Insurance. Yep. So he's a businessman and he has contributed to the business sector. All right. And, you know, remember when we, we spoke about author and we attributed that to Delroy Ch No, Wayne Chen. Um, he is co author of um, Reggae Roots the story of Jamaican music, and this was published by Temple University, yeah? So yeah, he's an entrepreneur, he's a businessman, he's a co-author of Reggae Roots, um, and that's a publication by Temple University, okay? Okay. All right, and beside Wayne Chen, we have the beautiful, the very beautiful, 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 beautiful Tessan Chin. Guys, I'm not even going to ask you to guess who this person is because I think we did a great job cap capturing Tessan. <laughs> so you guys should recognize Tessan Chin. All right, let's see if you guys can tell me her contribution to the Jamaican economy or Jamaica's nation building. What what is Tessan's um, claim to fame? All right, let's see what Julian is saying. Tessan um, B. Chin contribution to music. Yup, the music industry. Yes. All right, tell me something that you can remember about Tessan, guys. Um, she won a very famous music competition. Do you guys remember that? Or do you know that? Yeah, everybody's getting Tesson. Yeah, Tesson is pretty famous. So I noticed that when I asked from when I started here, you guys weren't getting the persons. But yeah, you guys got Tesson. Yes, yeah, songwriter. Which competition did she win? Contribution to music. She's a singer. Yes, contribution to the music industry. Music. Tessan sing, Tessan Chin music, uh, music entertainer. She won the voice. Yes. NBC's The Voice. Yup. Season five of The Voice. Yeah. All right. That's it, guys. She contributed to the music industry. All right, guys, let's go back. <laughs> she did not win American Idols. <laughs> Stacey and Pennant Owners, good morning. <laughs> Where did you get that from? Yes, she won the voice. All right, guys, we're going to go back from um, left to right. And when um, teacher asks you to identify these persons, I hope you can tell them, you can tell your teacher who these people are and how they contributed to Jamaica's nation building. So we're going to start from the left. Let's see how quickly you guys can identify every single person right here. Okay, left, who is this person? and their contribution to Jamaica's nation building right here. Come on guys, we went over this just now. Who is this person right here? And their contribution to Jamaica's nation building. All right, not seeing anybody okay. 
Slim Stewart is said Talia Lynn, yes, and the food industry, yes. Um, um, she started Island Grill. She founded Island Grill. All right, beside Talia Lynn, we have a gentleman right here. Um, what's his name? Which industry? Yes, we're looking at the contribution of the East Indians and Chinese. Yeah, these are all um, um, Jamaicans from the Chinese ethnic group. All right, so this gentleman right here, who is he? All right, can't believe you guys are not just shouting out at me and telling me. Yes, thank you. Thanks for saving the class um, in Warb. Yes, this is Vincent Randichin. Good. And his contribution is to music. All right, we're at the next person now. Who is this gentleman and what is his contribution to Jamaica's nation building? Yeah, Team Courtney Greaves is chiping in that um, Vincent Randichin is a record producer. Yeah, of, um, VP was of um, VP Records. All right, so we're past Vincent now. We're at the gentleman in the green tie. Who is this gentleman? Come on, guys, let's go. If you're on Facebook, just type the answer. We're past Vincent Michael Leachin. And what is Michael Leachin's contribution to Jamaica's nation building? All right, so Michael Leachin is a big time, big time businessman, billionaire businessman. Yeah? Okay. What about this gentleman right here in the red jacket? Who is he? Gentleman in the red jacket. Who is that gentleman? Come on, guys. You should be telling me that gentleman in no in a couple of seconds. Gentleman in the red jacket, Byron Lee. It's not Brian Lee, guys. It's Byron Lee. Um, so Byron Lee, what kind of music um, was Byron Lee involved in? Do you guys know? So he was leader of the Byron Lee and the Dragonairs. All right, let me tell you guys. So, Baron Lee did a lot of Calypso and Soka. Yep. Boy, Team Courtney Grease, you're late, you know, because, you know, from when we passed Michael Leachin, bank owner and billionaire, yeah, long time. So, we're at Baron Lee, and his contribution is to the music industry. And, yes, he is, his love was Soka, Skia, Calypso music. Mm -hmm. All right, beside... Um, Byron Lee, we have another gentleman and who is he and what is his contribution to nation building? This gentleman right here. See if you guys learned anything today. Ah, yep. Yep, 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 yep. So we're talking about Delroy Chuck. All right. So it's Delroy. D-E-L-R-O-Y, not Delray. Delroy Chuck. And yes, he's a politician, a member of parliament. Mm -hmm. And he has contributed in no small term to the legal fraternity and political um, arena. Now, let's look at the gentleman beside um, the Honorable Delroy Chuck. And this gentleman is Mr. Wayne Chen. And who is Wayne Chen? This gentleman right here, Wayne Chen. All right, guys, I see you learning. So tell me, who is this gentleman and what is his contribution to nation building?
Wayne Chen. Okay, guys, I want you to tell me Win Chen's contribution to nation building. Yeah. So Win Chen is a businessman. Mm -hmm. And he is the chairman of Super Plus Food Store, CBM Television, Jamaica's Southern Regional Health Authority. And he is a past chairman of NCB Insurance, among other things. So, yes, his contribution, guys, is to the business sector. Yeah. And, of course, I know you all know the last person right here, person close to the right. All right, first person to tell me who this person is. Okay, Spence, I can't believe that you got this person wrong. Will get Free access for a day to my curriculum basis class. Come on. Okay. So that goes to N-Ward Bizarre. Bizarre. N-Ward Bizarre. Yep. That's Tessan. I think we did a great job, like I said before, um, drawing Tessan's, capturing the essence of Tessan. Chin. All right, guys. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I do look forward to seeing you again in another video. Goodbye.